What is up, everybody? Happy Wednesday, if you are, in fact, tuning in Wednesday. Should we... Should I say happy Wednesday? I don't know. People might come back and listen. I don't... Oh, I think it's nice. I feel like I'm implying some little peer pressure. To listen to right on the day. <laughs> on the day, even though this it might be Thursday. Yeah. It might be Friday. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have nothing to do on a Saturday night, in which case... Thanks for hanging out with us. Chances are, I'm just like watching a movie. Me too. <laughs> not really doing anything. Yep. You know? Yeah. Uh, Although tonight we're going to the iHeart Podcast Awards. We are. Yeah. That'll be fun. We're not nominating for anything. Darn it. Which I think is a lot of crap. Me too. It's rigged. It's rigged, <laughs> rigged. Rigged awards. There's no way we weren't nominated. We're real sore losers. We're like the best show <laughs> ever. Um... Yeah. So, uh, what else? What's going on, Rochelle? Are you dating these days? No, I'm not, okay? I'm not. Okay. I'm not really either. I don't think. What does that mean? <laughs> you are, aren't you? No. Why do you say it? Not sure. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. No, no. You know, you I have friends. I have friends. <laughs> what? Do you have friends? No, I don't. Not the same ones you're talking about. You're not That's no, no, no sexual not. activity. No. All right, sorry, mom. Dormant. That's fine. Is it? Do you have any big uh, goals or upcoming events that uh, you have coming up? Other than, you know, we're gonna hopefully do like a live show sometime this year. Yeah. Rochelle's working on a musical. It's great. <laughs> I think it's awesome. You do. Spend a lot of time doing musical things yeah i'm working on musical so my focus is there and i'm like you know someone's gonna see me up on that stage they're gonna think wow she's special and then boom it happens do you want to be more of a broadway performer or a stand-up comedian or an actor um if you if you had your you know what break. you know what my dream is you know these people who have careers and then they let them do broadway because people already kind of know them sure that's what i'm hoping backdoor to broadway <laughs> So your passion's Broadway, but it doesn't pay. So you want Broadway to... pays. Oh, it does. Really yeah. Well? I mean, decently. Why do you want? They're why not you, on the street. Why do you want Broadway to be the back door? Because I don't think I can get in the front door. You know what I mean? Why? Knock, knock, knock on the back. I don't. I don't know much about Broadway. Why? Why don't you think? You just have to be like the best of the best of the best to get on Broadway. Like singing one? Yeah. I mean, I think you're a pretty good singer. I don't know Thank anything you. about music. Well, I wish you luck. <laughs> that if 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 you my make bad. it if you make it big, are you just are you gonna not be my producer? Probably not. <laughs> that makes sense. I don't it's pay a that, lot of work. I don't pay her that much. <laughs> so you find some other schmuck. Well, I wish you all the luck. Like <laughs> in a year. Like a year. A year. I don't want you to make it quite yet. <laughs> Oh. Anyways, great episode for you guys. Uh, we have Tamin Sursock. Sir Sursock. Sir That's how she is. instructed us how to say her name. From Pretty Formerly Little Liars. Formerly of Pretty Little Liars. Uh, has a, a lot of great things coming up. And uh, part of the hit podcast, Women on Top, and yeah. her co-host, Roxy Manning. Yeah, they just had Molly Sims on their podcast. They did. Roxy. Week. Roxy Manning. Roxy. Red carpet Roxy. I didn't, I didn't ask Roxy. Is it, you think Roxy's her given maiden name? Or not maiden name? Yeah. Is that like her given birth name? I think Roxy. so. I said I loved her name yeah. and I said I she wish She said I, thanks. Yeah. So I feel like she would have said. Do you think so? Yeah. I don't know. She seems like a Roxy. I wish I would have asked. I wish I would have asked how she ended up interviewing people on the red carpet. That seems like the funnest job ever. She's going to the Oscars. I'm like, well, how do you end up doing that? No, I mean, I don't know. You you kind of go out there you put yourself i mean yeah i'm sure there's yeah i'm sure you can figure out how you end up doing that you know just yeah. career path it's you a work, cool job it's a cool job work work on the red carpet at the oscars yeah anyways it's a great episode a couple of working moms married moms who uh have been married for a long time and uh are very open about uh marriage and kids yeah. and sex and marriage and i know i learned a lot they uh we yeah. we get into it. Yeah. Nick and I were just, just like, like whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. It's very interesting. 
So I hope you guys enjoy it. You know, we try to mix it up here. You know, single people, married people. Yeah. Uh, all sorts of all, all sorts of people. Yeah. So uh, you will love it. Thanks for uh, listening, guys. Also, don't forget to send us your questions at asknickatcastme.com. And as a reminder, send in your reviews, and we are going to be selecting 10 people to give some free merch to. So send in your reviews. We appreciate those. Uh, for the merch and just from the kindness of your heart. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. So without further ado, Tamin and Roxy, right after these quick messages. Breaking news. This important PSA is brought to you by Manscaped.com. This is your pubic service announcement. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> after more than 18 months of research and development, the Manscaped engineering team has confirmed that they have successfully created the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created. This new trimmer was just released only moments ago, and we are the first to confirm the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0 Manscaping Trimmer is now available for purchase. Its third-generation Manscaped Trimmer features a cutting-edge ceramic blade to prevent manscaping accidents. Millions of balls are about to be nick-free, no pun intended, thanks to Manscaped's advanced skin care, skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 3.0, dang. I take small offense to wanting to be <laughs> nick-free. <laughs> Your balls definitely also, aren't nick-free. Also, is that how it's spelled? N-I-C-K? Is yeah. It, it's not like... A N-I-K? K K I think it's N-I-C-K. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> but anyways, I uh, I have been using uh, the lawnmower 3.0, and I gotta say, everything's looking great. Whacking away, <laughs> more ways than one. Okay, hey. But um, boom, uh, they listen. They uh, they do actually a great job. Yeah. It, uh, I uh, I can be now thoughtless. I'm just cruising down there. I, I'm 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 uh, I uh, really I'm not. It's it, it's 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 uh, decreased my ball trimming time down uh, drastically. I haven't <laughs> timed it. I, it's not scientific, but I can tell you it's much faster, and I'm better for it. Yeah, and, and there's no the nicks, there's no nicks and cuts. So you need this in your life, man, and you women out there. What an amazing Valentine's Day gift idea! Ooh. Get twenty percent off and free shipping with the code V I A L L at manscaped.com. That's twenty percent off with free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code V-I-A-L-L. Screwball whiskey. Peanut butter whiskey. It is very tasty. Mm-hmm. I quite enjoy it. Yeah. Great for shots and for cocktails and for desserts. It's really great with vanilla ice cream. Yeah. It's become my new favorite dessert. Uh, uh-huh. As a whiskey drinker, I find it to be very tasty. Uh, I have served it to some uh, lady friends who don't traditionally think of themselves as whiskey drinkers. Smart. And they're like, you know what? This is really good. It's really smooth, don't you think? It's very smooth. Yeah. There's a nice little sweet peanut butter taste. And if 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 the idea weirds you out, don't. Don't let it. Because honestly, I thought it was weird yeah. at first when they told me about it. Yeah, I, I know tried you it, did. I was like, mm. You did. Mm-hmm. But they recently won a double gold medal and best in class for best flavored whiskey at the 2019 New York World Wine and Spirits Competition. At 70 proof, screwball peanut butter whiskey is the perfect shot or the perfect addition to your favorite cocktail. Pick it up at your local store or ask for it at your favorite bar or restaurant. Ready to hashtag get screwed? Well, I know I am. Go to screwballwhiskey.com for more info. Enjoy responsibly. Advertisement by Screwball Spirits LLC San Marcos, California. Whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. 35% alcohol by volume. Please enjoy responsibly. Tamman and Roxy, thanks for coming. Thank Thanks you. for having for us, Meg. Ladies from Women on Top. Yeah. Oh, the bottom of the sad. <laughs> Whatever. We feel like that day. I, uh, I, I, I heard the title of your podcast. is like, I have to have these women on. Um, we have a lot of, of, of people on the show who are in various uh, aspects of their life and, and dating situations. You are both married. And you're both mothers. Yes. yes, we checked. Yeah. And, you, and chains. In, in, <laughs> and it all, seems all it seems to have a, a big part of your lives. And we, uh, I think, recently we had um, 
my my good friend Tanya, and we talked a lot about being single. Yeah, a lot of opinions on on, on being single and and dating, and we here act- we are. Yeah, we yeah. get a lot of people writing in saying you need a, a married woman's perspective here more. We go. So here, here we go. Here I don't even we know what are. it's like to be single. It's been so. It's been thirteen years. It's been over a decade. I don't even know what it's like to. I think I'd be a terrible dater now because there's so many different ways to date, especially yeah. on apps. That I'd probably be on like those weird apps, like the farm farm boy app, or like <laughs> you know, just Find like weird, yeah, boy. just weird <laughs> things. Because like we're you know, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do the like Match.com. Did you like, know that when I started dating? my husband there was no texting texting wasn't even like around yet yeah so, i have a big we, blackberry right right is See, there even blackberry there are, actually call on the phone right. there are people who right. break up with people because of their bad texters no i text too much no, in our thing. relationship yeah. my husband says that we cannot have our entire relationship on text and i'm like but i don't want to talk to you because i've just seen you yeah. he wants to talk he's 12 years older than me and he definitely wants more of that interface and for me it's just like i don't need to talk to you about the 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 this the poo in the diaper like i don't need to talk about it let's just text about it we don't have to have a conversation have you ever text your husband while in the same house Many times. <laughs> he sleeps downstairs because he, I know, this oh. sounds like a bad man. He sleeps downstairs because we have two children. One of them, the children, uh, my oldest one is in the bed with me. And then the youngest one is next to my husband's room. And he does the nights right now. So, because I've been working so much. So he gets up with the baby, which is great for a marriage. <laughs> so if we have to find sexy time, we have to do it like yep. in the garage or something. I was just going to say like th- for sexy garage. time. Because sometimes you have to take that moment and yeah. go with it because... You know, like our daughter will be playing like in the in the living room or whatever, like Walk safely away. Yeah. And he's like, Are you ready? I'm like, Yeah, I'm in the bedroom. Come to me. And Two it's seconds. like Yeah, you have to like do it and like get it's, it done. Before. It's that spawn spawn. Yeah, it it's so hot. Time. It's so hot. And it's normally two no, let's be real, one and a half minutes. Uh. What? <laughs> yeah. It's only like one to like one and a half to two because minutes. Because he finishes in a minute. No, and you half. both do. It's just like you just get it over with because not over Come with. On. It's lovely. Yeah. It's about two minutes, right? Yeah, it's about two minutes. Like maybe four. Right. Because inevitably you, you sometimes hear like the pitter patter of the little feet like coming down the hallway. And you're yeah. like, he, he, oh God. And same with you. Oh. Yes. You're finding that when you have sex with your husband, less than two minutes. I mean, I could Climax. probably do one, but I want to give him what he needs, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, it's just, you have to just, you, you have stuff to That's do. I have things time. to do. Yeah. I mean, I get it. Do, does your husband not masturbate when he's like traveling? So the no. only time he's climaxing is when you're having sex. Well, I'm, uh, the problem, the thing. I only ask this because we get a lot of callers yeah. who like call right. in, my husband's this is the jerking difference. off, watching porn. No, and, and this is the difference. I wish he would. Roxy and I are available. So like, <laughs> They don't have to watch porn and masturbate yeah. because he knows that he could be with me. I mean, he could be with a woman. You know what I mean? So like that to him is more fun. So he doesn't. I mean, sometimes I'm like, let's have sex. He's like, again? So I mean, I think he's just tired. <laughs> huh. Would you, If you found out your husband was uh, masturbating in the shower, would you be offended? You know what? I think my husband does masturbate in the does shower. He? I think so. I, I think so. Yeah. I, I don't I, know your husband. <laughs> I've never met him. I, Barely knew you were married. Yeah. I am certain <laughs> they masturbate more than you think. I, yeah. pro- I promise you. I, but my, maybe not because yeah. this whole minute and a half thing is blowing my mind. I <laughs> promise you that because I would say like, have you? And he... Right. says not like he's not a liar mm-hmm. so he would just tell me yeah. you know what i mean the minute and a half thing blows my mind because he he i mean at his age i don't know how old he is but you said he's 12 years older so he's not 20 no right but i don't it, you know I what mean, that's, it, it that's took, an incredible sp- <laughs> like unless you're the young like i don't well I, I i think it's just because you know what you like you're you're turned on and you don't have much time you got to just you got to get your mind in the game. You know what I mean? Like you can't be farting around here. Like you got, <laughs> not that you should ever bring farting and talking about this in the, in the same uh, uh, conversation, but you don't have a lot of, t- like you don't have a lot of time. That's it. And we also have things to do. Like as moms, like we're working moms. We want to work. We want to, you know, make our own money. We want to be with our husbands. We want to like be there for our kids. We want to create. We don't have that much time for like a 30, 30 minute session. Can I ask why you sleep with your daughter in in your bed? I don't really have to, but I just it's I wrote this post on my Instagram about how time moves so fast and how 
as moms, we always feel like we're rushing, you know, like rushing to like have a moment to ourselves. And, and then all of a sudden you look back and you're like, wow, they've grown into people and I missed it. So like for me, she loves to sleep in the bed and I have a great sexual relationship with my husband. So I'm not missing other than he's snoring. <laughs> like there's nothing really that I'm missing. And to like watch them sleep is like nothing. I mean, moms out there know how this feels. It's like nothing you've ever experienced before. It's like pure, it's complete purity, you know? Mm. And I just, I love it. And I love the connection that we have. And and at some point it's going to be over. She's not going to need me. And it goes so fast. I can imagine all the women listening who just, Husband's getting the boot tonight <laughs> for one and a, one and a half minutes. Also, yeah, it's not, it's it's not your choice sometimes because sometimes they come in the bed with you and like for us, I know we wake up yeah. some mornings and there she is like in the bed. Yeah. And I'm like, how did that happen? Yeah. You know, you uh, you asked me when I was on your podcast mm -hmm. uh, if I think uh, more women want to have sex more than than men now. As you guys have been married for a while now, has that changed for you guys? Do you feel like you're wanting it more than your husband? I've always yes. wanted it more. Always. always. So it's not a, like a necessarily an age or a time thing. I think there's a misconception that men are like Randy because you know. Mm -hmm. I once read the statistic that men want sex like every three minutes. Like they think about it every three minutes mm -hmm. or like yeah, every, there's a difference. I, yeah, I don't, I don't believe that. I think that men are way more complex than women give them credit for. And they have a lot Thank more you. going, they have a lot more going on than we think. <laughs> and I don't think it's just like food, kill, yeah. sex, right. masturbate. Like, I don't think it's that. I think they're much more complex and women are a lot, have a lot more of a desire mm -hmm. to have sexual activity than we talk about. Right. And that's why our podcast Women on Top is great. I think it's because we get women and we talk about what women actually think, but no one's really talking about. And I think women have a higher sexual drive than men think. Right, especially as a mom, like you're really not supposed to talk about sex oh, when you become a mom, because you're like, supposed how to be they, this how pure- How are they conceived? Right, right. You're supposed to be this like pure figure that like doesn't talk about sex and you know, but it, the reality is we'd want it and we do talk about it and that's why, you know. And why is it so dirty? Like it's yeah. funny because in America, especially I'm from Australia, um, you know, you see like someone being blown up on your TV screen or like they'll say like sensitive content and you'll see like dead bodies literally like saloon over like uh, all over the floor. But yet you like can't show a nipple, which is like, what is a nipple for? It's to actually feed your children. Like nudity in the States is so taboo, mm -hmm. but yet in so many other places and parts of the world, it's beautiful and it's like, vulnerability and its connection and it's 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 stunning but we don't consider it like that in the united states you know back to your question though about i know like, we should change this <laughs> <laughs> why well there's more there's more boobs all over <laughs> <laughs> it's a more that you know america was founded on a puritan culture and mm -hmm. it's just a little little different i guess it's yeah. weird that mentality i feel though like why is it dirty to have connection like it's not dirty, it's not dirty. and and my husband would always say like oh i'm so worried about when my my girls grow up and have sex, but you gotta have a reasonable, responsible conversation around sex that it's okay to enjoy it mm -hmm. and it's okay to talk about it, but just know your limits and know what you're being forced into and be safe and be careful. And without those types of conversations, w women get into these situations that aren't good. Mm -hmm. Such as? Getting pregnant young, um, getting STDs, um, being forced into sex, rape. Like there's so many things when you don't know your boundaries mm -hmm. that is why so much of this has happened. And you have two two daughters. Two daughters. You, two, a daughter. You have you, oh, all no, no yeah. sons. No yeah, sons. no sons, all girls. Mm -hmm. I do want a son though, but I don't know if that'll happen. <laughs> and do you, as, as you know, as you kind of alluded to, do you, you think about you know, your daughters, you're, they're both all, everyone's Six really young, one. but are you already started kind of thinking about how you're going to talk about uh, sex and relationships with your daughter specifically? I think it like depends on the stages too that they're at. Like right now we have kids who are in kindergarten. So um, for us, you know, she has sort of asked, where, where did I come yeah. from? You know, where does, where does a baby come from? And the way we sort of explain it is very different than I think if, when she asks us in a few years, even like third and fourth, we just say, I think we said something like, you know, you were this kind of beautiful seed that was growing in mommy's mm -hmm. tummy and, and okay. you came out and, you know, very, very yeah. basic, you know, you're like, you're vague, you kind of like, 
yeah. I'll be very bad. I just don't want to lie to her. I mean, obviously, I don't want to ruin that, you know, Santa Claus isn't real. But, yeah. um, you know, when you say like a stalk comes in, it's like that starts to confuse them when they start to get older. So it's kind of a version of the truth that then becomes the truth that doesn't scare them in the future, which is kind of like, hey, you know, mommies and daddies get together and we have babies. The problem is now she's got two friends and she's like, I'm having babies with Falcon. I'm having babies. I'm like, you need to get that shit together because you cannot be yeah. having multiple babies. Noom. Noom. just love saying that i'll tell you what shavings make a pile yep i mean what a wonderful and convenient way to get all the healthy exercise and diet information you could ever want right? can i say i've lost three pounds this year already thank you using noom just holding myself accountable in this new year great job thank you it's so easy they have so much information uh it's right accessible uh and i think you know information is the key to success yeah and just getting better habits and um yeah it's all about your habits well all you do you download this app to your phone you can log your food super easily they have a huge database and it color codes it so you know like which is more calorie dense also they provide support articles so it's only it takes about 10 minutes a day but it changes your whole life also sometimes people think of these things as a way to like eat, making eating less fun i would argue that it makes it more fun yeah. because it gives you a lot of things and ideas of things that you actually enjoy eating yeah. that are might be even healthier than you realize right and it, you don't have to feel like you're starving yourself just no. because you want to eat healthier yeah. there's just a lot of information it's very helpful so totally. You don't have to change it all in one day. Small steps make big progress. Sign up for your trial today at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash V-I-A-L-L. What do you have to lose? Well, maybe, wait, I don't know. But visit Noom.com slash V-I-A-L-L to start your trial today. That's N-O-O-M dot com slash V-I-A-L-L. Ritual. Ritual. This is a vitamin I take every day. Because even Maria, when she was on mm -hmm. Nick's sister, she said, like, you can eat really healthy and still be missing nutrients during the yep. day. Yep. So I always take a multivitamin every day. And this is specifically for women. Yes. yes, it's specially formulated for women. It says it's obsessively researched. So, but the thing I like about it is sometimes you take vitamins and they make you feel gross. They taste gross. They mm -hmm. make your stomach feel bad. These don't at all because of the way that they're, the capsule that they're in. And it's, you don't have to worry because they're vegan friendly, sugar free, non-GMO, gluten free, everything. So you can take it and not worry. I could, I could sign up for that. I know. Yeah, I wish I could, I'm not, I can't, I'm a, oh my God. <laughs> you but anyways, always feel so left out. I do. <laughs> anyways, better health doesn't happen overnight. No, we, we, we've talked about this. Right now, Ritual is offering my listeners 10% off during your first three months. Fill in the gaps in your diet with Essential for Women, a small step that helps support a healthy foundation for your body. Ritual.com slash V-I-A-L-L to start your ritual today. That's 10% off during your first three months at Ritual.com slash V-I-A-L-L. Do you, do you think people are still using the stock, the stock story? Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. What are some are of the afraid. craziest things you've heard some of your friends? The stork. The stalk, stork, stork, stork whatever. Stalk, the bird. Stork, stalk. The bird. Stork story. The stork, stalk, stalk. Uh, what are the, some of the craziest things your other women friends have said to their kids? Like, you're like, what are you saying? Or like you, the one where like the baby gets dropped off. And I'm like, no, right. that that's abuse. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, the, yeah, baby babies get dropped that. to your doorstep. <laughs> and it's funny because, well, this is a sensitive conversation but we lost a baby really quite far in and my daughter was in the actual appointment when we lost her and Wait, so yeah like we i learned about the miscarriage of the baby's heart had stopped while oh. while i was with my daughter because we were so far in that we sure. didn't even think that it was a possibility i was hysterical i like dropped to the floor like i didn't even I notice no that she was i didn't even notice that she was in the room so I think that's affected her in some way because she always says like there's a baby in heaven, you know, like she doesn't really understand it. Oh, so sure. at some point we have to have those conversations as she gets older. And then she's been through a pregnancy. She's been through me growing, having a baby, birthing a baby, and now it's her sister. So it, you know, it's 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 sensitive. Mm -hmm. Do you remember your parents explaining it to you? Because I don't. Mine didn't. I don't. Mine never no. did. I remember I sex ed. Is that how you learned? I learned you, about it. You, wait, you learned in sex ed? Sex. That's like the f I mean, 12 years old? No, Yeah, 12 probably. 
I learned from a friend's older brother when I was like. Seven. Well, the thing is, my parents tell me that my 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 <laughs> my, 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 right, my right. neighbor friend, his name was uh-huh. Brian, told me. But uh-huh. my parents were like all pissed and devastated. But yeah. I don't like the point is I don't remember any of this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't really don't remember. When did you first have sex? Yeah, seventeen. That's hard. you're a relatively for yeah. Around, seventeen, average. Yeah. I wasn't like a late bloomer, but I certainly wasn't all older. First in line, I yeah. It probably would have been earlier if it weren't for the Catholic guilt that I, yeah. I uh, was well, you know what? Living with. Oh well, you should tell no, me your theory. No, I think I'm good. Tell what? him your theory, I just had sex Oh, you have a you have no. a theory about Catholic no, guilt? No, 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 no. I just no, had about sex different ways. So holding on to your virginity. Holding on to my virginity. <laughs> oh, I believe you mentioned this to me off. No. Oh. The um, old uh, other hole. No, let's not. Let's not. But I was a virgin for a long time. Okay, oh, yeah. mom. Years, years, years. Um, but that's that, that you weren't. <laughs> didn't get pregnant. Didn't get pregnant. Uh, uh, pregnant in the back yeah. door. No. <laughs> Why are we was talking about this? Thing? I just didn't want to lose my virginity. I was like holding on to it for what? I have no idea. And I lost it on the stairs of my parents' house. The stairs? I don't know why the stairs. It just felt like sexy. Front porch? Or like <laughs> no, just the stairs. To the bedroom. And now every time I, because we're still in the yeah. same house, my parents are still in the same house. Every time I walk past those stairs, Were I'm they like, home? there's still that little bit of a stain. Just kidding. Like, I haven't changed the carpets. I'm like, uh, that's kind of gross. Mom, I think it's time to change the carpets because I never really told her. But I just always remember those stairs. And it was not the best experience. So it it's like, never. Su- no. It's not supposed to. Well, I mean, other, I mean, I hope it was. But like, in general, your first time you're losing. It's not, it's not a. Rubber? It's not the. It's not rubber? the magical moment. Yeah, and I, it kind of for women, it takes like a lot of times to actually be having sex. You know what I mean? Like you do it once, you do it twice, you do it three times. Well, it's always like awkward. the fifth time. Yeah. You're like, okay, now we're actually having sex. It's awkward yeah. usually, yeah. unless I mean, unless your first time having sex with someone who's, you know, if you let's say like. You, if you're a woman and you've waited, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you right. and you you're 26, 27. Generally, you might have sex with someone who's had a decent amount right, of sex, right. and so that's a whole different type of awkwardness potentially. But hopefully, he's making you feel yeah. more comfortable. But usually, like a you know, 17, 18, 19, 20, everyone's kind of new at all this. Yeah, so yeah. no one's really good and it's often awkward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if I waited. I just don't think anyone wanted to have sex with me. <laughs> no. Oh yeah. I was, I was, I had braces, fuzzy hair. I was about 210 pounds and I just never, the first guy who I thought was interested in me was 14 and he threw a rock at me and I was like, that means he likes me. Isn't it funny what we tell our children? Yeah. Um, and then he said, you need to go to Je- Jenny Craig. I remember. <gasps> he said that to He you? said, you need to go to Jenny Craig and mm-hmm. actually, his comments changed my life because I started exercising, eating well, healthily, so wait, and I, I lost a hundred pounds and almost. Like you appreciate his comment? Well, now I do, but it was so mortifying that I was like, I don't want to live like this anymore. People say like, how how were you overweight? And it was just we had immigrated from South Africa and we just didn't feel like we were really settling. So when you feel unsettled, you turn to something. And for me, it was food. So I turned to food and I was just overeating because I didn't feel settled or safe or whatever. My parents were amazing, but we just kept moving around. And so I just gave weight. How old were you when you like- Lost the the, weight? Yeah, had this transformation. So I lost the weight at 15 and then I got a job on a TV show, which was the biggest TV show in Australia and like around uh, Europe called Home and Away. And I got the job when I was 15 and a half. So it was like a mind fuck. <laughs> so you went from like feeling yeah. like I'm an overweight teenager. No to like the ingenue, yeah, you. on the oh. cover of the magazine. And you always think that you're that girl. Like it never goes away. Mm-hmm. You, it's, does it still bother you to this day in terms of do you have body image? Uh, so I had and struggles? I talked to, so I had an eating disorder for about four, no, from about eating disorder for about 10 years, like a bad one. How old when it's from start? four, from fifth, well, from like 17 to about 25. Ooh. Um, bad eating disorder. And then I met my husband at 24, 20, well, no, 23, I can't remember, early 20s. And it was still going on a little bit. And then I just stopped because I realized it's funny when you just, your brain, it's like when people talk about drugs, because I've never taken drugs. They say when you're just done, you're done. And I was done with feeling like crap. I was done with feeling sick. I was done with making it control my entire life that I just woke up one day and I said to my husband, it wasn't my husband at the time we were dating. I was like, I'm done. Like I'm done. Did he suspect that you had an issue before you acknowledged it? Oh yeah. So I had bulimia for a good 10, well, good five years. So it was like, I stopped eating and then weird eating stuff and then like bulimia for a good four or five years. And then it was very rare with him, though. It wasn't like a day-to-day thing when I met him. Like, it was kind of on the outs. <laughs> and, and then did, I just did you just went cold turkey, or did you have to, like, 
get help or I, you know, I mean for the people who are listening who might be struggling like in terms of like I, advice you might offer to them for me living was better than dying something just happened i woke up and i was really sick and i was just like i okay, i, I chose i yeah. i choose life and yeah. i go to therapy for other reasons that are not eating related just about feeling good enough and whatever but the eating stuff completely stopped one day and my husband said to me because it's been it's been almost nine years or something and he said to me he was like i'm so proud that you just stopped and i did like i don't think about it yes we all think like oh i wish i didn't have excess skin mm -hmm. or i wish my boobs were higher being moms or i wish i didn't have like a turkey neck or whatever you think but that part of my life was over oh. and i didn't want to talk about it i felt so ashamed of it for so long because i was like what are the headlines gonna be like you know tamen blah blah blah. you know how they like mm -hmm. misconstrue Sensations. everything yeah. and i was like you know why i have to talk about it is because if i can save someone's life and if i can help someone right now and every time i talk about it then my job is done do you i mean you've shown me the picture when you were a child right there yeah uh is that on your social yeah okay well yeah. no not the bikini one it's not on my social <laughs> i don't know where that's from but that other ones are yeah yeah no i mean it's it, it's it's a lot of people would be surprised to see these photos and in some ways it must be uh, inspirational for someone who's uh, yeah i mean it was the best thing that ever happened to me because it gave me empathy and it gave me like understanding of other people and i've never thought of myself in a realm of like oh you're better like because you got on a tv show when you were young or what like i've always cared about other people mm -hmm. and i'm not saying that you can't if you're not overweight but i think it just gave me a, a different empathy that i didn't know that i would have had how so come I was just gonna say, so you wouldn't have traded it. Like you wouldn't have traded like being like thin no, your whole life no. for what you've already gone My through. My best quote is don't waste your pain. Mm -hmm. And because of that pain, I think it's transformed me into the person that I want to become and are becoming because I've been through so much. And at the time you hate it because you're like, why is this happening to me? And it wasn't meant to happen a different way. Like it was meant, this was meant to happen. I was meant to be bullied. I was meant to have miscarriages. I was meant to to suffer so that in some way it could help. Like, I think it's don't waste your pain. Like mm -hmm. the best the best art is through pain. Yeah, it's true. You know? It's true. Are you conscious about your diet now? Yes and no. Just like give a general healthy lifestyle. I really lifestyle, love but... to be healthy. I love green juices and stir fries. I don't eat meat. That's just because I don't, I think right now where we are with our environment, that's it's more about the environment in a way and my children's like future. So I don't eat meat, but um, but I try to just eat really well. I like to feel good. It makes me feel sexy. It makes me like feel not like outwardly sexy, internally sexy, if that makes sense. I like to just sleep well. I like to not be a bitch. <laughs> but it's like- Wait, meat, meat makes you- <laughs> Yeah, meat makes me bitchy. Okay. But not, not Sean's meat. Yeah. <laughs> My husband. Uh, so you, you've been married how long? Oh God. We've been together 13. We're married nine. And Roxy, you've been married how long? Oh God, what this question? I'm trying to calculate. Hold on. We met in 2003. We got married in 2005. Oh. So we're going on 15, 15. years. <gasps> yeah. That's 15 years ago. That's so sad. Ugh, no. <laughs> That's what, uh, what does your husband do, Roxy? So he works also in entertainment. He's an events producer oh. and does entertainment marketing. Um, his company is called A-List Communications. A Name David. This one goes out. And she's like, the, the, when she walks in a room, she sparkles so much. She has like no social anxiety. She walks in and she loves it. Like for me, I'm at the back of the room, like hiding, like, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I'm like, we're so opposite in so many ways. And yet we love each other so much. So much. So, much. Such a track. so what's, what do you, I mean, you know, obviously we get a lot of people who are married and a lot, lots of times it's, you know, four or five years go by, seven, you know, a lot of people. The itch get, comes in. People yeah. are getting divorced, they yeah. get bored, complacent, sex lives go down, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you guys seem happily married. Uh, do you, f A, find that your relationships are non-traditional? And if either way, what are some reasons why you are in the position you are still thriving in these marriages? I mean, I think for me, we have a very non-traditional marriage because we're both, we both he has work. six wives. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah to explain. I'm the seventh one. <laughs> and what do you, he's married to me as well. Game. Yeah. What do you mean by non-traditional? Also married to Tammy. Yeah. Um, no, I've so, seen my boobs though. Yeah. But I think all yeah. girls do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why not? Why not? Check them out. Yeah. Um, 
we're not traditional in the sense that we both work and we're both entrepreneurs. We both take care of our daughter. I mean, it does fall more upon me, I think, at times. It just it just does. But parenting? Parenting. Yeah. Parenting, taking care of the, you know, the little one and stuff like that. But I think we try to have a balance about it. It doesn't always work. It doesn't always work. But it was interesting. Your question before about the sex, not to go back to sex, like I always do. Not but, to go back to sex, but please, let's do but it. But please. You were asking about do women have more want to have more sex than men? And I think like in our marriage, it was interesting because he wanted to have sex at the beginning more when we first got married. But now that yeah. it's changed because he's gotten older, I've gotten older. The I'm change, hornier, yeah. I think, yes. now than he is, you know? And yes. it's like, and I think it's like that because he, my husband too is older, you know, almost a decade older than me. So um, I think in that sense, we're not matching up a little bit. Yeah. You know, it's like we, we're sort of two ships passing. You have to work on like, it. You have to work on it. You yeah. really have to make time for it. Um so yeah, that's kind of like where we're at in our marriage, you know? It's, it's funny because I once heard that this um, quote, no, not a quote, sorry. I was in therapy. I think therapy is great for individuals. I don't, we don't go to marriage therapy, but I said to my, my therapist like a couple years ago, is like, how do people, why do people break up and why do people stay together? And she said that when you first meet, there's like a three to four year period where you're just obsessed with each other. And then after about four years, it's about money and kids and jobs and sexual differences. And so you split apart. And then to reconnect, which is why some marriages work and some marriages don't, is you have to keep falling in love. Mm -hmm. And if you don't keep falling in love, then all of a sudden that separation just gets larger and larger and larger. And that's why people divorce. You have to find out and figure out what made you fall in love in the first place and keep connecting. That's why for me, my husband and I once a month go away to Santa Barbara. We, it's, it's just like a simple thing that sure. we do. We go there, we talk for a day and a half, we have sex, we laugh, and we keep reconnecting and we keep falling in love. And that's the only way that marriages last because you do, you find there's like a huge distance and then you can't seem to come back together. Well, you have to keep dating each other. That's the thing. You can't yeah. get lazy about it, right? Yeah. So you have to like dress up a little bit and you have to like make go on those date nights and make an effort and like show your affection, you know, right? Have you ever had moments where you had to like, you know, met other, either metaphorically or physically like kick your husband in the ass because you felt like he was kind of being lazy or vice versa? My husband's that, very attentive. Like he's a very he's attentive. He's very attentive. Okay. But what happened, which I wasn't ready for, is that by having children, because he's so attentive, he's so attentive on the children. So now I'm like, well, where do I fit in? You know, know, because all of a sudden he's so in like helpful with the children. So I just have to remind him like, hey, I'm here too, mm -hmm. which he is aware of, but like he has a full-time job and he's got the kids and he's trying to help me out. So it's just like, you don't have that much energy and time within the day mm -hmm. to like also like be fawning over your wife, but you kind of have to, because women still want that. They still want attention. Right. And that's what a lot of it is. Women just want to feel loved in some way. And desired too, Does that, you know? ha does that happen a lot with, when with married couples and having kids and they almost get jealous of the attention from their kids. Yeah, you're not jealous of your kid, but you're jealous of the attention. I think so. That, I mean, that's I've a, heard a lot I, of men feel that with the women that she gets. We just need her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it must be both ways, I'm Yeah, sure. because uh, Mike Birbiglia just has a touring show that's just so about good. that. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so it's, good. It's so good. But it's basically about his wife becoming obsessed with the baby and he's like, what about me? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, especially in those first couple years yeah. when you have a baby, you have, I mean, you don't really have a choice, right? It's like, yeah. they need you so much. They depend on you. You're feeding them, you know, a lot of the time. <laughs> it's like, you have to be on that. It's like, they're my boobs. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> but my husband do 50, we do 50, 50 of the work. Like we 50, 50 work, 50, 50 do the kids, 50, 50. I mean, he changes just as much diapers, if not, more than I do. Um, he takes the kids to school. I pick them up. I, I'm all day working, doing my job. Tomorrow he's doing his. We just try to balance it. Like I'll shoot a movie. He won't take a movie. Then he'll shoot a movie. I won't take a movie. We just try to do it like literally down the middle. Is that to come naturally for you guys or that's something you're making a conscious effort to do or both? I think it comes naturally because we both met when we're we both met in this business and in this business you have to figure out your schedules and try to make it work and sometimes i do have a movie that i'm doing and he has a movie that he's doing so you just have to discuss it and be open to having that type of communication
Yeah. I think too, like with my husband, like he sort of knew what he was getting into when he married me because he knows the person that I am. Well, you know that I am. Not yeah. that no, <laughs> I mean, like, but everyone it's, can say that, right? Like everyone is a certain personality. I think, like if you're, you know, for me, I think like if you're a, like I'm a very opinionated person. No, I, I know it's weird. It's weird. Um, I don't come from a traditional, you know, sort of background. You know, I come from like a multicultural background. Um, you know, I went to a very like college preparatory school we were you know taught to like always want for your own your own you don't you know rely on men that kind of a thing so i think like all those things that i expressed to him like at the beginning he knew what he was getting into like if we ever had kids down the road which we did you know and like he, he know knew those. even wanted to have children that's and the thing how, how long did so, you guys wait till you had kids so we almost we were almost 10 years married when wow, we had the child because here's the thing i didn't want kids yeah. you didn't want kids. no uh, did he want no children? he did Okay. He did very badly. He's one of six kids, also Catholic. Why does he like, want the second child? <laughs> no, it's so Jeez. weird. Wait, right? now you want a second kid and he doesn't? So now I want the second kid and he doesn't. And he's one of six kids. He's like the baby boy of like six it's kids. And it's, uh, that's no, what I'm trying right. to do. And you're on. Uh, are you I'm, actually trying to think I, of I ways am. to impregnate oh, yes. yourself? I'm trying to steal his sperm. I have. Um, <laughs> I just say get a turkey baster. Yeah. And just like use a condom and then just run for the hills. Is that something couples are constantly discussing yes. about like having have. kids, not having well, kids? How many should we have? Yes, because in the also different stages of your marriage, you mm. might have a different answer, right? Like maybe you wanted Clearly. more at the beginning. Of it. So that's like what, what's happened I think to I us. I want more too. Well, yeah. So My husband does not. But seriously, you're, you're trying to actively... Get pregnant. I have been known to do so. I've been known to try to steal that a mean? sperm. Can I? Get, so, I mean, Tim and you tell. Uh, Tim but Utah. why do you have to steal sperm if you're having sex? Because he pulls out. Because he tries to. Oh, pull he pulls out. out. Yes. Oh, I yeah. Did that. I so like, what she run. does is like she like folds <laughs> on top of him like right at the end, and oh she just like God. gets him like really close, and then just he's like, I'm sorry. And then just literally you just bear him hug him. Yeah, I just like bear. I like just crawls on top like, of him. Yeah, and just yeah. Like, I'm see like, what happens. You're not going anywhere. But and he then... seems to be able to flip her over <laughs> and just run. I think last time you said he oh ran. He so ran. you're trying. He ran from he her. Ran from me. Wait. So have you ran? Have you? <laughs> you're trying to not pull out. I, I'm you're trying, trying to, get him not, to make not him not pull out. out. Yeah. 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 And. and and that ha you haven't been able to do that yet. I mean, I kind of have. Like, there's been like oh, he maybe always does. he always he he's really good Are you about watching. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know everything about. Her I sex have her on Facetime, okay? Yeah. And I'm like, Tamma, does this happen? I'm like, just run, just run. You've got an in. You've you can you can get out the door. You've got space. You've got room. Go. He is really good about knowing like when he he will like pull out like a good but poor david does not like to be talked I know. about oh my he God. does not I'm like sorry to i'm about. sorry babe i'm sorry i don't he's he like, knows don't how to speak time about it. me i'm not i'm not podcast. saying the pull out method i'm not here to campaign <laughs> is it a safe <laughs> sex method but like yeah as a guy like it's not that safe not my that, second that's that how my safe. second no, child was conceived what yeah. <laughs> so watch so we'd had all these miscarriages and so we were told by the doctor to wait a year so I was like, cool, we'll just have sex on my period and we'll do it this way as protection. And I, something happened or it was the postman and um, I got pregnant. Okay, noted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could happen. There's probably a lot of girls out there with your yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, no. Right? <laughs> but, oh, no. Well, at this point, whatever, fuck it. <laughs> you like, you would be happy to find yeah. a child that was yours. If some girl called you up and said, Nick, remember like two years ago when we, you know. And this is your um, First yeah. thing you would say, I need a DNA test. Right. <laughs> Well, I I'll mean, I mean specifically yeah. that story, I would, I would, it would uh -huh. bother me because I would feel like I really missed out Aww. on, on two, so two years. That, that would really, I'd really. You can look with after that. my child Such anytime. A, I would yeah. love a break. Um, <laughs> come on over, yeah. Come on over, come on over, baby. So what? What's your next plan? Are we still just gonna? So I guess. I mean, is this a, like a serious thing? Your husband? It's a serious is thing. It's, no, although, it's like for real. Like it's for real. He's literally like. Mm, Although, what are his reasons not to want to have a husband? Well, he's like, okay, so he's 10 years older than me. So now he's like, oh, I'm just like, I feel like I'm too old. It's like so much energy. I feel like that'll make him feel younger. Right? That's what my right? husband's thing is too. He's like, I'm too old to have a third child. I'll be I'll be a grandpa by the time they hit college. <laughs> the thing is when you're younger, because we're 10 years and I'm 12 years, I still have a good decade Wait, to have children. I, still, I can still have children for another 10 years. Yeah. And so I don't know if I'm done. I don't know if I'm ready for my body to be done yet. And then there's a whole psychological thing that goes with that too. It's like, okay, so now I'm not having kids. 
okay, so then are we done here? Like, are we done with the whole period kid thing? Because Who's you're, we? Are you, are you? Me, and my, me and my ovaries. <laughs> like, me and my eggs. Yeah, and I'm we like, start are repairing we, are we the damage, Are right? we done? Are my <laughs> ovaries and me done with reproduction? Are we breaking up? Are yes, we breaking yes, up? Like, because then it. I'm like, if we're not having kids and I don't want a period, I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> Do you think you're going to win this battle, Roxy? No. I don't think I'm going to win the battle because ultimately it's like his, like I, I'm kind of dependent on his hardware. So yeah. if he is so like not in that mode and he knows how to time it and like does it like I that. I have an idea. He just want, okay, tell me, tell me, tell me what, no. what, what. If you think in the shower something's going on. Okay. Put a camera in there. Okay. Okay. No, and okay. find out. And then you need to be watching the monitor when he's showering because and then there's probably something in the shower. Huh? But will it be washed down the drain? But maybe there won't be. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, let's just be hopeful. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Okay, <laughs> let's just okay, be I'm hopeful. I'll try it. I'll try it. I don't mean to burst your bubble. But I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, my work. gosh. I feel so bad. I, <laughs> Uh, yes yes so let's that's talk about the meaning but, of life but, in, but in all seriousness like yeah. you you hope to convince him to want to have a child and you probably won't like, that's kind of where it seems like it's going like i ultimately would love to have a second child i'd love for my daughter to have a close sibling like i'm close with my sisters i would hope for her to have that same relationship but it kind of doesn't look like it's going in that way and there's no visectomies going on no. here so your both of your husbands are capable of yes. in theory. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess as you said, I, she maybe, said maybe you'll get lucky like That's uh, what I'm Hitman wondering. I'm wondering if I stop bringing it up and just yeah. kind of like don't say anything and then let it go and see or just maybe say you think you'll get okay. lax. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He won't think I'm like after she him says for that sperm she anymore. Wants it, yeah. Though. She said she like, wants it and then she had a scare yeah. the other day and she was did, sweating bullets and she was like, "Oh my so, god, what am I going to do?" So like I feel like she thinks that she wants a child, then she sees how much I would just went through. <laughs> like literally, I had a baby a year ago. I was like, I felt like I was high for a good 7 months. Like I I left my key i left my car running like three times i went to yoga and the car was literally on i invited people to the wrong address like 25 people to the wrong house i left my phone phone in the fridge for a day like you Did just you know you were pregnant then or is this no this oh. was after baby after baby oh. postpartum is such a real thing that oh. i think roxy saw how great batshit crazy i was and she was like eh, maybe <laughs> maybe maybe on second thoughts <laughs> it is there is something kind of like scared because we did have like not a scare yeah but like maybe i thought i was pregnant and i started thinking about going like, back yeah. into that stage you know it's of like intense. being in the weeds and like the diapers and the sleepless nights yeah. and the throw up and the shit all over you and it's and like no one no one yeah. no one's prepared for it it's so funny because i know a few people who are pregnant and um and they're just like oh this baby uh, and and i'm just the whole time and it's I, the all first moms, child. the first child, yes. and all moms feel this way. They're just like smiling mm -hmm. inside because they're like, "You have no fucking idea." Yeah. Because for me, I was that too. Like, I brought lingerie to the hospital. I I left the hospital what? in a diaper, in a literal diaper from front to back that you're in for like because after C sections too, you yeah. still you still, still have bleed. to wear a diaper. I was in a diaper a for like a week and a half, bleeding like profusely. I can't believe I didn't die because you're like, how does this much blood happen? <laughs> and you don't die. You can't even walk. You're just no. you're waking up every hour. It's it is the most intense beautiful miserable depressing euphoria that you've ever been in and you can't explain that to anyone especially pregnant people <laughs> because they think it's just going to be they just think it's going to be They're all like, beautiful and yeah. it's it's so intense like your nipples have been bitten on so much that they become so red they start to bleed like no yeah. one talks about that they start to crust i remember just crying in the shower my boobs were crusting over like the nipples were crusted uh, right because and then you have to let her latch onto the crust uh, which and then is it gets so a scab painful and then again, yeah and, again, and a scab yeah. on the scab i would cry i think yeah. breastfeeding was harder than actually giving birth yes no it, especially when you have a c-section and when your milk drops it feels oh. like you have like fire coming out of your breasts oh, it's like it is just fire it's so painful oh my God. and then like when oh. you have a c-section like my husband saw my intestines literally be removed from my entire body because they have to make way i think you're gonna pass out <laughs> um, they like move the intestines and take your baby out and yeah. you're just kind of out of it like people think that a c-section you feel totally alert you do not wait or you, i did not i wait, felt like when you so have a c-section are you alert? yeah you are alert you're, you're, you're awake. awake blanket right they just give you, you a spinal so you're you're you you're can't dead feel from anything like, from your neck down yeah, yeah. pretty oh. much yeah and it's 
the weirdest feeling. It's like you'll see your legs awful. move, but, but you don't think it's your legs. Sure. So it looks yeah. like your legs. Yeah. And you um, start freaking out. You're like, can somebody move my leg? Because like, oh, I know. You I, I would freak out. Anything. And yeah. then I told them not to put morphine in it because with my first, I, they put morphine in the drip and I would shake and the baby would shake. So I was like, don't put morphine in the second. And I was so afraid to not feel my feet. And then the minute my feet so started to feel back, I'm like, yay, I can feel my feet. I can feel my feet. And I'm like, holy fuck, I just feel like my stomach <laughs> has been cut open. And I'm like, can I have some Advil? And they're like, I don't think Advil's gonna work. I'm like, just give me something! It was so intense. Yes. No, it's intense. It's awful. Like, so it's now awful. do you still want to have a child? <laughs> I mean... Oh, she's like, yeah. uh, Maybe she'll have another one for me. I'll have a surrogate, I think. Yeah? I mean, all the I mean a surrogate's not a bad have idea. Have you had discussions with your husbands about vasectomies? Vasectomy? Yes. Vas- I have not. And no. you have. I have, mm-hmm. yeah. And how does he feel about that? I think he would do it, but I don't think he's ready. It's funny. I don't think he's ready to throw in the towel just yet. It's weird because I feel like we're in it. We're in the first year, which is so intense. And now we're out of the first year. Yeah. You're like your, your second's only a year old. I know. So which like, is a year tomorrow. <laughs> I feel like it's like too soon to really, especially in his case, to or I'll probably either of you to like really know if you really yeah. are. I don't want to do this. Right? I don't want to do it to my body again because I've had, I had complications and it was, uh, I've got a scary complications. Too. Yeah. And I've got like a split in my abs. It's like, re- like it's, you know, it hurts my back. And so there's so many painful things and I also the second baby almost ruptured through my scar a lot of people don't talk about uterine ruptures mm-hmm. because they want to have a VBAC which is a vaginal birth after delivery uh, a c-section and so I really wanted a VBAC of vaginal delivery so what does that mean like you have a c-section but first time if, second time you want to want to try because yeah because most people don't they don't want a yeah. c-section you don't no. want, you want a vaginal. if you have but a c-section is, you have to do a c-section no you well, don't you don't actually do have to you can do a v-back mm-hmm. and i wanted to do a v-back and for some reason two days before i had the c-section with my second i just woke up and i was like something's wrong i was like i i have to have a c-section when they did the c-section my daughter's face was so close to rupturing through my scar and so what happens when that happens is she ends up in my stomach and then the only way to know if that happens is death there is no sign. You don't know of if the baby's ruptured. The both, baby. both. <laughs> so he intense. said that I was t- like a day away from like not surviving. So, so for example, if we have a third kid, I'd have to have the baby so early, and I don't want to do that. So I'd probably have a surrogate, Roxy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm mad if it's the only way I get number two. That's yeah. yes. but, but who gets my the, baby? Who that's gets? Who gets the kid? I know, right? Like, that's, that's like split a split it. Split it. everything else. Split like, it, right? We'd split it. Yeah, we'd I'd get split s- it. more sleep that way. Totally. I'm I can do nights because you like to go out and do your yeah. uh, your, your uh, red carpet thing. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'll do nights okay. and I okay. hate going out because I have social anxiety. So I'll just do, I'll do nights, you do days. Yeah, okay, that works. Good schedule. We're good. Yeah, figured it out. Women wow! Thank you, Nick. God, <laughs> <laughs> women would I'm rule glad the I could really talk this through, you you guys. Before I let you guys go or you ladies go rather we play this game called do you know me okay. it's real simple mm. uh i ask you guys some simple questions the pre-selected okay. um don't answer right away rochelle and i are gonna guess yeah oh okay mm-hmm. uh if there's rochelle and i and our listeners at home who knows roxy i and never Tammy win <laughs> better it's all about kind of listening to what we've talked about yeah, I... just kind of reading body about language being a good listener Uh, You guys, you lady, you ladies ready? Okay, let's go. Okay. Question number one. Has Tam and Roxy Mm -hmm. seen someone naked, not including their children? Or husband? Not including their children. Oh, okay. In the last 24 hours. Yes. What kind of question is that? <laughs> Her husband, who knows, could be traveling. He sleeps in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> or the baby. I'm, I'm simply Are saying. You, what about porn or a picture online? Well, that's Does all. That, count? that, that definitely yeah. includes. And yes, 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 yes. <laughs> We're women on top. Come on. Women on uh, top. <laughs> I'm, well, Roxy has given herself away. She definitely <laughs> has. Uh, damn it. Include she didn't sit down what? till. Doesn't include yourself. Does not include yourself or your kids. She, I'm she say didn't Tamin, sit down till 11.30. I'm going to say Tamin has not seen someone naked in the past 24, 24 hours. hours. That is true because my husband left at 4 this morning. <gasps> and you were not happy about that? This morning, no. but you could have seen him last night. But she didn't. At, at 11. Oh. Sure, I got to pay. Plus he, has he to been up. Plus he has clothes on when he goes to bed. Oh. Does he sleep in clothes? Never Don't knew. you guys sleep in clothes? 
I sleep in my underwear. It's not naked. <laughs> I, I I'm just answering. I the sleep in like oh my god, this is too much information. I just sleep in the top part. Oh, just no bottom. Yeah, what's yeah. so yeah. weird? I'm not lazy. You're ready. You're ready. To go. <laughs> like this is sometimes so weird. I, like I used to always just sleep in my underwear. Now it's uh-huh. just like. Sometimes I'm just like too tired to take my socks off. <laughs> it's like, fuck it. I'll just sleep I with my socks sleep on. I sleep with a t-shirt on. You always know? a t-shirt on. <laughs> t-shirt. I'll wake up. I'm like, why really? I slept in this? Socks and what? Underwear? Yeah. Or just, your, or just your socks? No, never just socks. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want... That'd so be interesting. For women, you don't want... like you. Need, I feel like you need a top on. I feel like you need bottoms because, you know, I stuff leaks have, out. Oh, no. I, I like <laughs> that. I love All right, well, uh, She's got to know her shell a little bit better. <laughs> no. We didn't expect that. I it's like, just women's anatomy. Well, in the I summer, like, in the yeah, summer, and I have a whole bed. In the summertime, I like to sleep naked just because it's, like, like, hot, you know? Everywhere. You don't? I never sleep with a bra or anything. I don't sleep with a bra, but I like a t-shirt because I feel like there's just, I don't know. Really? But no, no. Cover? Yeah. <laughs> so weird otherwise you wake up with it your neck that's how we sleep people (laughs) question number two okay and these are all over the board they're not all they're all sex or naked related uh does (laughs) i I picked a lot of i picked a lot of uh, sex ones because you know women on top you know it could mean career yeah we know (laughs) i get the metaphor i was like it's a double meaning (laughs) uh does Tamman and Roxy know what TMZ stands for? TMZ, the T M and the Z. Been on it. Um, definitely not. They look very confused. Oh yeah, oops, we the just came <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, no, I guess not. Do you? I don't. Do what you does know? it stand what for? What does it stand for, Michelle? Do you think it even stands for anything? I, apparently. <laughs> I'm looking TMZ. it up. TMZ like meaning. Television. What does it stand for? Do you know what IBM stands for? Or ATM? I bet you know what ATM stands for. 30 mile zone. The historic studio zone within a 30 mile radius centered at the intersection of Beverly and La Cienega. All right. Did not know that. The more you know. Something machine. Automated Automated money? teller machine. Teller. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I good. I that up and it was real because that's what it is. Yeah. Some of them you can kind of figure what out. What does IBM yeah. stand for? I used to know. Well, ask me anything about politics. Ask me anything about politics because I just became a citizen. Yeah, she is. She's American. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Question number. Not when you got married? No. She was a green card holder. And I didn't get married for the citizenship. So I had a green card and then because of acting, I got citizenship. Question number three. Has Tamman and Roxy ever shoplifted? I'm going to say yes, because I feel like in high school, you know, they kind of wanted to be cool and maybe they shoplifted something to say, look cool. I'm going to say Roxy has. Mm-hmm. Really? Anything. Like, for example, no. I have ordered a bag of chips at a restaurant mm. and then I've taken two bags of chips. <gasps> Technically, yeah. shoplifting. So I've never shoplifted, but I have accidentally, like you get home and you go, I didn't pay for that. That's Pretty not shoplifted, shoplifted right? You, but no, it is because but you know not, why? Wait, wait, wait. Because sure, then you go, intent, I didn't, wait, no, no, wait. Because yeah. you go, I didn't pay for that, but then you don't go back and pay for it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So but like had, but delayed shoplifting. That because That's of, not the because same. Because of what we do, Nick, mm-hmm. you get so much stuff for free that you have to be careful to like not go, well, they would have given me this anyway. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, I like, stuff for free. I don't go to, I don't go to Whole Foods. Like, you know like what? I can probably get this for free. So <laughs> yeah. I'll it's fine. It. Just trust me. I'll yeah. just go home with it's this. It's like they're going to give you two sweaters. It's like they could probably would give you three. You know what I mean? What about you, Roxy? <laughs> So confession time. I have shoplifted. I have. I have. You you have. look like trouble. I, I, I mean, it's trouble. It's a little trouble. There's a little trouble under there. Do you remember what it was? I do remember what it was. I was actually pretty young. I was like six. Um, six. So yeah, it was like a kid shoplifting. Like and so does that count? Does that count? count? No. My mom made me go back into Why the are store you though. Shoplifting. That's, because that's just like problem. this is not knowing any better. I, yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm gonna take this pack. No, I, it's gotta be. It's it gotta be with mom. the intent. Like I have. Like I, you know. When okay, I was, when did you shoplift? I'm probably like in high school or college, and I what was just like, shoplift? I took an extra bag of chips. Oh, the chips. You remember that? I paid so for. I paid it. for. You like, felt bad about hey, it. Can I get a it's drink, a Catholic sandwich, and, yeah, and some Catholic chips? And I was just it. like, <laughs> I want more chips, and I'm just like, 
so think about, about the person that could have had that bag of chips that you just no. took those chips from. <laughs> uh, Probably stolen more than you. Yeah. Think. Yeah. By accident. By I, accident. I have by accident. When they All right. To you and Question. <laughs> Take another one. Number three, can Roxy and Tamman name four kinds of dinosaurs? Oh, we have so many. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I just gave it away. I just I thought you were just asking questions. Yeah. Well, sometimes with these questions, just a heads up, you immediately be like, "Oh my god, totally!" And then you get to three. <laughs> yeah, but oh, yeah. together, I feel like together we share brain, join Good. forces. Oh yeah. Good. So this yeah. is together. Yeah. yeah. We so like Brontosaurus, T Rex. Um, rap, raptor. Stegosaurus. Wow, there you go. We have okay. children. And also my child hates dolls or anything girly. She's She'll... into like gremlins. She sleeps with a witch, a snake. <laughs> Did she sleep with that gift that we gave her? Oh, yeah. She, oh, oh, the one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that cute one. That, um, okay, good. She sleeps with a witch and a snake. She only wants to be a dragon or um, she loves, uh, who's the really scary guy with the tongue from Marvel? Oh. Huh? She doesn't like any of the superheroes. Like she the villain? Like villains. Oh, yeah. God. Hmm. What's the one with the tongue? I don't know. I don't know. It's daddy because daddy's like into all that kind of stuff. Oh. <laughs> Question number four. Mm. Has Tam and Roxy ever been injured from sex? And let's just clarify what an injury What's is an injury? here. What's an injury? I mean. Uh, like, oh, I think I may have pulled a muscle. That's not an injury. But like. It affected, like, legit. Le you legit, like, yeah. hurt yourself. Well, on their Side. podcast, they shared that crazy story of they ruined a room from sex. That's not, that's not an injury. I know, but that's, I'm saying if that can happen, that does not, I feel like an injury could happen. Sure, yeah. I feel like. Oh, I think they're both capable. They're on, when you're on top oh two, <laughs> when you're on top Tamman seems injured. like an exhibitionist. Oh, my God. You, when you're on top of injured, not in life. Easily. And, like, have social anxiety in life. I'm not an exhibition in life. Alone with your husband has nothing to do with social Just anxiety. Myself. <laughs> I say yes. Injured. Injured during Fallen. sex. Fallen. Hurt a penis? No. No. Stop breathing? <laughs> I don't think they have. No? You have to tell No. Us. Oh, we have to tell you now? Okay. Yeah, now you can answer. Um, so I may or may not have had <laughs> drunk Yes. A mild concussion. Yes! Mild concussion. <laughs> Did he drop you? Uh no, I actually slipped on sperm. Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> I remember. Ew. That's what we were talking. It, it, no, yeah. that's when she was trying to steal it. it was yeah. Like, from, yeah. This is it recently. Was, it, was recently. It, was, it was Yeah, within She's the last She's never been the same months. since. <laughs> Still got a little fuzzy I, up there. I have not. It, yeah. You have not? Injured? No, because it's massive. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I, not, I've been in pain. It's been painful. That's like, you know. It's just like an everyday Friday night. But um, it's been painful, but it hasn't been like I've. That's normal wear and tear. Although so I lost speak. my tampon once. It's not. Oh. That's just. <laughs> I have to go to the doctor and they still can't find it. No, I swear. It's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. Her body like it is it gone. Up. I like, swear no. to God, I have toxic shock syndrome and that has been my problem my whole life because it, it, it is gone. That I have counts. not yeah. found it ever. It's who it does work. It's probably like up to here now. No, like, I know. It probably just dissolved yeah. or I don't know. Or maybe you thought it was in and it wasn't. I don't know what happened, but it's gone. That would make, you that clearly would make me remember. So scared. Do you clearly remember? It's been ten years. It's been ten years. Well, the guy, the guy, I hadn't even had sex yet, and he just checked it and said, "There's nothing up there," and I'm like, "It's gone." So. Yeah, I feel like how how old were you here? Seventeen. Maybe I think maybe revisionist yeah. history. I think I went to the doctor. I remember wasn't really there. You took it out. You forgot. I don't know. Oh, I still wonder about it. I don't doubt that. <laughs> All right. Okay. So next question one. for the new American citizen. Ooh. Ooh. And also Roxy. <laughs> uh, can. Hammond and Roxy name five states that begin with the letter M. I'm pretty good at this. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I'm supposed to tell him. So, yes. I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm going to say they're going to fail. Oh. Just for fun. Well, the problem I is up, I know I a lot about spot. America. Like a lot. That's it. America. Would... America counts as one. Um, America. America. No. America. I know a lot okay. about America. Well, the problem is I get a little confused with states in Maryland. Um, That's one. Maryland. Mississippi. Mississippi. Two. Um, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Three. Um, uh, Maine. Maine. Four. Ah! Wait, Four. did they say Maine already? Uh, no. no. But they, have, they still and have one Missouri. More. You yes. said Missouri already, didn't no, you? No. She did it. She did not say Missouri. Missouri, Missouri, Missouri for the win. In Missouri for the win. Okay, all right. Five. Say it again. What okay. are they? 
Missouri, Maryland, Maryland. Sorry, Missouri, Maryland, Maryland Maine, Massachusetts. Massachusetts, and Missouri. No, you said America. No, no. no. Uh, they said Mississippi. Okay. Mississippi hold on, before. hold on. You Wait. said Mississippi. Mississippi. Yeah, you said Mississippi. Okay, there you go. We won. Nice I was gonna say if you, I mean, you just qualified. I feel like that's that should yeah. be on the that's top it. of your. That's yeah. it. She's American. Last question. You do. Last question. And you do too. Do you know, Roxy's really good at politics, which is oh, so random. Good memory. When I was testing for my test, it was a hundred questions, and I asked her a hundred, and she got like ninety-two <laughs> oh, right. Oh, Roxy! And I was like, "What? Well done. I mean, I, I don't stay know. in school. I, yeah, stay, stay in school. In school. <laughs> stay in school, kids. Last question. Do either of you, Tammy and Roxy, have their read receipts on on their texts like you can't read it no like okay like we get they a receipt don't. back when they no like when someone it. when you read your text they people can tell okay you don't even know what that is they don't they do it. i know what that is when it says scene <laughs> yeah and it says right well it says red that's your that's instagram but Sorry. That's but same that's same premise lie. on text <laughs> um you would have to turn it on so i'm gonna say you don't have it um, don't have. I would never want people to know that I've read their text because then well, so sometimes power. Roxy will <laughs> text me and I'll be like I didn't get your text no just kidding I never do that to you no. it was when people call you and then they text you if they've seen that you've seen it then you have to pick up their call but do you know what you do have those receipts on your text because I can see when you read them because it pops up I as do. red so when you tell me you haven't seen my text I do uh -huh. I never say I've never seen your text I know that's true that's true but I still do have either. it yeah yeah you do have can it. you turn it's, it off? It's, it's a you better use it, yeah. case for single people out there dating. Yeah. Can you please turn it off? I think you have you to have turn to. it off, right? Can you just show me how to turn it off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you identified this problem. It's oh right. my yeah, God. So things we found out. Because Every, know everyone that. knows you're reading their text and you're not responding. Yeah. You have to turn it off. Like oh my God. There's one person I always don't respond. Uh-oh. Who is that? Like, what is their I'm going to say it. <laughs> Where I'm can people just... find you, ladies, and what are you currently working on that uh, you'd love Rocks. to share with our audience? You go first. Okay, so you can find us on Women on Top Official on Instagram. And also Women on Top for our podcast. podcast. And yes. And you, iTunes and Spotify. Yes, on iTunes and Spotify. All of your podcast platforms, you can <laughs> listen to us on Women on Top. Um, my Instagram handle is at Red Carpet Roxy with a Y. Very important. <laughs> Very important. I'm not E. And yours um, is? Mine is Tam and Sarsok, and I have a film coming out, which I'm super excited about. And by the way, you guys might know me from Pretty Little Liars. I don't know if Nick ever said that. He's like, who's this random person? We it's talked like about Jenna. it in the intro. Yeah, yeah Jenna, um, the blind girl in Pretty Little Liars. Um, you, you played a blind? I never saw Pretty Little Liars. You played a blind? We don't know anything about each other. <laughs> I just don't want, I, I, know. I, I know plenty. I, I know plenty <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I know a lot about <laughs> Um, if you're in Australia and you're listening, I actually directed and wrote a TV show called, um, it's on Nine Now, and it's called Aussie Girl, which is loosely based on my life about a girl who's successful in one country, comes here, and no one gives a shit. Um, so she's selling chicken thighs on Hollywood and Vine, which didn't happen, but it's loosely based on my life. And then the movie Wailing comes out in two months with Tom Felton and Wendy McClendon Covey from The Goldbergs Excited. and David Keckner from Anchorman. He's so funny. Um, my hubby and I wrote it, and... Um, I'm in it, so That's check it awesome. out. Check it out in two months, and in where two months. is it? It can be in theaters, Netflix. It's gonna be in theaters and Netflix. Yeah, whaling. Be online, whale and whaling. Actually, no, they changed the name. It's called Breaking for Whales. Oh, Breaking they for Whales. It? They changed it because it had Breaking to be a B, whales. but that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, things I don't know about, but yeah. So just directing and writing and trying to live a life that's with husbands and children. Awesome. And you can also find me on Red Carpet Roxy, my website, also with a Y, um, where I interview. Um, Are you going to be at the Oscars? So, yeah, I will be at the Oscars. Oh, yes. So, so watch exciting. out. Yes. Yeah, so you can find me on the Red Carpet and at Red Carpet Roxy. Awesome. Well, ladies, this has been very enlightening. I've learned, <laughs> I, a, learned lot. a lot. And hopefully the people uh, listening have as well. It's been a lot of fun. I appreciate you ladies uh, joining me. Uh, thanks, you guys, for listening. As always, we appreciate your reviews. Only, honestly, if you want to give five stars. Uh, <laughs> They're like, uh, <laughs> don't do four. Blessed. Keep your threes and twos yeah. and ones, whatever. Uh, don't forget to send your questions at asknick at castmedia.com. Cast with a K. Anything else, Rochelle? No, this was so fun. Thank you guys for coming Thank on. Thank you so for fun. having us. Thank you for having us. I feel like us. we're friends now and then we'll never see you again. I know. So That's not true. That's true. We work at the same <laughs> studio. <laughs> I mean, this now I know it. how you feel about me, but hey, <laughs> I thought we were going to be uh, hanging out all the time. I know. It's like now we just spent three hours together. We actually spent more time than a movie. 
I was thinking about that today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's an investment. There you go. Yeah. There you go. We should go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for listening, everyone. Have a great day. We will see you back on Monday.